of the 12 anomalies, which one stands out to you the most as the most compelling, that this could be extraterrestrial in nature? Well, it's the fact that it's lined up with uh, the plane of the planets from the beginning. And it's also a very big object, much more than we expected, because the previous ones were a million times less massive. You know, both of these are fundamentally difficult uh, to explain out. So I'm saying let's wait and check what this object is in the coming weeks rather than uh, give the verdict already now. Avi Loeb has just released new data on 3i Atlas, and with it comes the confirmation of the object's 12th anomaly. This may be the most unusual one yet, because the physics and mathematical models relied on for the past century completely failed to explain the observations. Loeb has proposed three possible explanations for this behavior, but before examining those, it is important to outline what the anomaly actually involves. Seven independent telescopes measured the rotation rate of 3i Atlas and determined a highly precise period of 16.16 hours. These measurements were repeated repeated multiple times between July and August, producing identical results each time. Earlier imagery from November 9th revealed enormous gas jets extending millions of kilometers into space. Based on the measured speed of this gas, Loeb calculated that it would take roughly one month for material to travel from the surface of the object to the visible ends of the jets. This is where the inconsistency appears. Over a one-month travel time, the object would complete around 45 full rotations, given its 16.16 hour spin period, about one and a half rotations a day. According to basic physics, material ejected from a rotating body should spread out as the object continues to turn. The gas should move outward in straight lines while the object keeps spinning, creating trails that extend in multiple directions or form spiral-like patterns. This is standard behavior for rotating comets. However, the observed jets from 3i Atlas behave differently. They appear as sharp, narrow, laser-like beams rather than smeared or curved structures. Each jet maintains a single, consistent direction across nearly a million kilometers of space, which should not be possible if the object is rotating dozens of times while the gas is traveling outward. Adding to the strangeness, images taken just days earlier showed no visible jets or tail at all, presenting a separate anomaly of its own. Focusing back on the 12th anomaly, Logue's set of explanations contains three main theories, though he has mentioned a fourth that remains more controversial. Theory 1 suggests the rotation rate may have slowed significantly since July, reducing smearing of the jets. This is unlikely because asymmetric gas release typically increases a comet's spin rate, not slows it. Additionally, November 11th images show the object intact with no signs of a catastrophic event that would alter its rotation. The second theory proposes that the object may have deep valleys surrounded by tall ridges with ice located in the shaded valley floors. As the object rotates, the surrounding terrain blocks sunlight most of the time, but once per rotation, the angle of sunlight aligns perfectly, briefly illuminating and heating the ice. This would cause the jets to activate periodically rather than continuously. However, if the jets pulsed every 16 hours and the gas required a month to travel outward, the result would be spaced out segments of material, distinct puffs along each jet like beads on a string. Observations instead reveal smooth, continuous jets with no such separation. The third theory suggests the object might have fragmented and the jets are actually debris trails, but existing data confirm that 3i Atlas has not broken apart. Unless there was a significant error in capturing or interpreting the images, this explanation also fails to fit the observations. The measurements that led researchers to this impasse were not fringe observations or isolated data points. They came from coordinated observations by major observatories tracking 3i Atlas over consecutive days. Rotating bodies in space obey predictable rules. When ice sublimates from their surfaces, jets should bloom and bend as the nucleus turns, their directions tracing the object's rotation like brush strokes across the void. This expected behavior is a cornerstone of comet physics one so reliable that astronomers use jet patterns as a tool to measure rotation rates in the first place. Yet with 3i Atlas, those familiar signatures simply aren't there. The jets maintain a rigid, fixed direction, as though frozen in place, ignoring the spin of the object that is producing them. This problem becomes even more severe when one considers the sheer scale involved. The jets extend roughly a million kilometers outward, which means the material within them has been traveling for weeks at a time. 
Over that span, 3i Atlas should have rotated dozens of times, exposing new regions to sunlight and altering the vents that feed the plumes. Instead, the jets hold their alignment across distances so great that even slight shifts, say from the nucleus, rotating a few degrees, should produce visible curvature, but no curvature is seen. To maintain such straightness naturally, a comet would need to possess an internal structure or outgassing mechanism capable of compensating for every rotation rotation with perfect precision, a requirement that no known geological or thermal process can satisfy. This contradiction between what physics dictates and what telescopes record has led researchers back to the growing list of anomalies associated with 3i Atlas since its discovery. Long before the 12th anomaly emerged, the object had already demonstrated behaviors that strained conventional models. Its early light curve brightened too quickly, indicating either unusual composition or unexpected structural changes. Its acceleration pattern resisted explanation by standard radiation pressure or sublimation forces. It lacked the typical dust tail expected from an icy visitor interacting with solar heat, despite evidence that gas was escaping the surface. Even the object's polarization measurements hinted at an interior or surface chemistry not seen in known comets. One by one, these anomalies accumulated, and though each had been puzzling, none directly contradicted the framework of rotational physics. Until now, the 12th anomaly pushes 3i Atlas into unprecedented territory by confronting the very principles that govern angular momentum and mass ejection. The jets behave as if they originate from a source that is not moving, even though the nucleus is in constant rotation. This is the central mystery, an unmoving effect produced by a moving object with no known mechanism to lock one to the other. To understand how extraordinary this is, astronomers tried to revisit every potential natural explanation. Could the jets originate from vents aligned perfectly with the rotation axis, producing a stable projection? That possibility fails under scrutiny. Even axis-aligned jets would show oscillations or slight deviations as surface regions heat unevenly. Could the orientation result from a consistent sunlight geometry, where one zone remains illuminated longer than expected? 3i Atlas's motion through space contradicts this because the solar angle changes constantly during its trajectory. Could the jets emerge from steep canyons or depressions that act like nozzles, channeling the gas into narrow beams. Modeling shows that topography might collimate the jets briefly, but not maintain alignment over distances measured in millions of kilometers. Every standard pathway ends the same way. The data do not behave as physics predicts. This has led to a quiet but growing discomfort within the community, a sense that researchers are watching something that resists assimilation into familiar categories. The possibility that the jets could be stabilizing themselves by counteracting acting rotation invites speculation about internal mechanisms operating in ways never before observed. A comet whose interior rotates differently from its crust, for example, could theoretically produce a compensating effect, but such a structure would require differential rotation and precise torque control, a configuration that borders on engineered machinery rather than natural geology. While Loeb's work includes a fourth hypothesis involving controlled thrusters, he presents it cautiously without claiming it as the expected explanation. Instead, Instead, he notes simply that the behavior resembles, in broad outline, what engineered propulsion would look like, jets that maintain global orientation regardless of the object's rotational state. Spacecraft do this routinely. Reaction control thrusters fire in specific directions that are independent of the vehicle's momentary spin. Stabilization occurs through automatic compensation, ensuring the craft remains on its intended trajectory. The resemblance between such controlled systems and the strangely disciplined jets of 3i Atlas is not lost on observers, though it is a comparison that many approach carefully. Yet even without invoking artificial mechanisms, the anomaly challenges our understanding. If the explanation is natural, it likely involves processes that have not been observed in any known comet. Interior structures with rotational decoupling, materials with unusual sublimation properties, or exotic ice formations capable of maintaining consistent emission patterns regardless of spin. These possibilities, while less sensational, are also deeply exciting because they expand the range of what interstellar objects might be. Three 
AGI Atlas could be revealing a category of comet that forms under conditions radically different from those in our solar system, shaped by environments we have yet to imagine. Even so, nature tends to produce chaos, not precision. Rotating comets are messy, with jets that flicker, bend, and twist as sunlight sculpts their surfaces. The laser-like straightness of 3i Atlas's jets and their ability to ignore rotation entirely stands apart from the irregularity expected of sublimation. It suggests order, a system that responds to rotation in a coordinated manner. Whether that order arises from unfamiliar natural mechanisms or from something more deliberate remains an open question, one that researchers are attempting to answer, not with speculation, but with data. To that end, a global network of observatories has begun revisiting every piece of information collected about 3i Atlas. High-resolution imaging is being reprocessed to search for subtle features that might have been overlooked. Variations in brightness are being cross-correlated with rotation markers to ensure the 16.16-hour period is correct. Radio telescopes have begun listening for narrow-band emissions that might indicate structured signals, though none have yet been detected. Meanwhile, spectroscopic measurements aim to determine the chemical chemical composition of the jets. If they consist primarily of water vapor or carbon dioxide, then classical sublimation remains a viable explanation, though the stability issue would remain unresolved. But if the jets show metallic components, complex organics, or particles inconsistent with ice-driven venting, then the mystery deepens. Chemistry alone may not solve the puzzle. Velocity measurements are equally important. The speed at which the material travels determines how long the jets have been extending and thus how many rotations the nucleus would have completed during that period. If the velocities are higher than expected, the travel time shrinks, reducing the number of rotations and making stability slightly less paradoxical. But early indications suggest speeds in line with typical comet jets, meaning the month-long travel time remains robust. This reinforces the central contradiction. Long-lived jets produced by a spinning object that show no evidence of the spins that created them. Astronomers working on dynamic models have taken a different approach, exploring a possibility that exotic ice crystals or layered structures might channel outgassing in ways that mimic stability. One scenario imagines a network of subsurface voids directing gas through a stable tunnel system, with the emergent jet anchored to a single point even as the surface rotates. But this requires a degree of structural integrity that is inconsistent with the fractures and fragmentation already observed in 3i Atlas. Another model proposes that the jets are influenced by magnetic fields generated by interactions between charged particles and the comet's interior. Yet the field strengths required to maintain such alignment would far exceed those observed in any natural comet. More speculative still is the idea that 3i Atlas could possess rotation rates that vary with depth, with an inner core spinning slower or faster than the outer crust. This could theoretically allow the jets to emerge from a deeper, less rapidly rotating layer. But the conditions necessary for this, viscous decup, subsurface shearing, and stable conduits capable of channeling gas, align more closely with engineered components than geological formations. As the comet continues its trajectory, fading slowly from from observatory view, the search for answers intensifies. Its anomalies, now 12 in number, form a narrative of defiance, each refusing to conform to expectations. The 12th anomaly, with its rigid jets and rotational paradox, stands as the most profound challenge yet. It prompts a question that cuts to the heart of scientific inquiry. When evidence refuses to fit a model, is it the model that must change or our interpretation of the evidence? The cosmos often answers such questions slowly, in fragments and clues. 3i Atlas has offered one such clue, a straight, unwavering line drawn across a spinning world, inviting humanity to follow it into deeper mysteries still unfolding.